Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard. Welcome back to Attack of the B-Team. As you can see behind me, the uh, Double Tap statue we made last episode has a few modifications. Some by me, some by others. So anyway, we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the house and the changes I've made since the last episode, and we got a couple little projects today. So let's get started. Here we are in the town circle. You can see my sheet pen. We'll get to that in a second. But here... We built the statue last time. I think, I'm not sure if it was Double Tap, whoever, but came by and put random things in his hands. Last time we left it off, it was a little plain. I came and added some little platforms and things to it after the vi uh, video was done and fancy it up a bit. Put the lanterns on it. I like it looks really cool. Someone came by and added some, I believe, what are those? We've got a heart and cooked chips. So, you know, the statue's not going to get hungry. But then later on... We have Wolverine here. It looks like they use rice in the hands for claws. I think it looks pretty funny. And they left a sign. Your end is coming, DT. Wah. So whoever, who put that up is Epic Boosh. Boosh and yeah, Double Tap are having a little bit of a uh, <laughs> rivalry going on right now, which is why he put that uh, statue up. They've been pulling a few pranks on each other and, you know, sending a lot of quote-unquote threatening... Uh, and smack talk in the chat when <laughs> they're both on. So it's kind of funny. We moved the enchantment stuff out of my yard and we built us a crazy little hut here to put the enchanting tables in. So let's open the door. If you're in spawn, you need to do enchant. I threw the auto enchantment table in here. It's not hooked up really to anything because I still haven't really researched how to do it, but I decided to keep it there since it's community. Uh, you know, stuff I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I just threw it in the corner. Nothing in that corner. This down here is nether brick, believe it or not. I think it looks really cool. You can do it also as black with glowing uh, seams. Pretty neat. And then bookshelves you can chisel. This is historian one, I think, which is why it kind of got scrolls in it. I thought scrolls were kind of magical. You know, maybe some magic spells on there or something. Kind of cool. And then they put a magic tree on top so we'd have the cool little particles drifting down. I was hoping they'd go through the roof. They do not. But... And the only other thing that makes me sad is when you use micro blocks on here, they're not transparent anymore. But from here, especially at night, when you're seeing black sky behind it anyway, it's not that big a deal. It looks pretty cool. I wanted to kind of have some overgrown look to it. I like it. And then these are just, you know, ice. They're uh, micro blocked ice things in different shapes. These are panels that just got put over the top of a lamp, which is the same as what's here except the full block version of it. There's a few different lamp types for this Project Red Illumination mod. And these are my lamp posts I made. This is a caged lamp inside of that, which I can't point at it because I've got stained glass over it. Here's what I've done with the sheep. I expanded it, dyed some different colors, clone, or bred them up, got a bunch of them, and then I added when I got tired of shearing a machine in here. is the Rancher for Mine Factory Reloaded. It requires power, so I have it uh, right underneath it, there's a wire that runs down to my power source in the basement. And then it will spit stuff out, so if you put a chest next to it, or you can use pipes if you want. Whatever it's doing, harvesting, it will put into the chest. So I have a large reinforced chest, so I have plenty of room. That's part of better storage, like I talked about last time. And, as you can see, I've got a bunch of different colored wool, some of which I need right now, like the blues and some grays and stuff for a project I want to do for the airship stuff. Which, if you were smart last time and saw the air balloons, I'm sure you guessed it. But yes, in the future episode, we're going to build us a hot air balloon. Stay tuned for that. So anyway, I built us a picket fence around the yard. This is the... well, it doesn't tell us, but it's the Mr. Crayfish fences. I don't like it. Because of that stupid flicker. It's the worst when you're looking south, but it's on other ones. And then, if you're using shaders for some crazy reason, it makes it even worse. I know this second hand, I haven't tried it myself, but one of the guys on the server was using it and saying, oh man, those look terrible. I think I'm going to try and replace it, get a white material and just use the carpenter's barrier like I have with the uh, sheep over there. And you can the cool thing about those is you can use the hammer like on a lot of these others and like the doors, you could change the type of it so that the shape of it's a little different. We can get something kind of like this picket fence, but better. So we're going to do that. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, let's go in here. All right, we've built us a few things in here. Guys, a little dining room. I've still got the chests. Not done by any means, but I just used micro blocks to build things. And then these are Mr. Crayfish chairs. 
I don't know why the names aren't showing up. They used to. Here, put some different wooden covers over the top of cabinets for Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, just the same as these, so I covered it up. In the future, we're going to be doing some more stuff here. I might put some more cabinets up top. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting, because now the up they've updated in beta mode, but they haven't done official release yet, of the mod pack. Now it's going to have Bibliocraft in it, which has a lot of furniture things, like chairs that you can actually sit in, and some uh, lamps, a couple of lamp things, and a few other like shelving and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome. Will go well for our house. I'm going to run upstairs really quick, show you that I have a couch. Yay! This looks like the Mr. Crayfish couch, but I built it out of micro blocks. So if you do the Mr. Crayfish uh, couches, they connect up, and they're just made out of wool, but you can't make it out of blue. So I wanted a blue couch to fit with kind of the blue colors up here, so I made one. Plus, you know, you can do this if you do the few colors of the Mr. Crayfish ones. You can uh, put a micro block on the side and we'll cut off the little arm rests and make your own. These are just uh, micro blocks of the carpet stuff like this here that I've showed you before. And then this is my micro blocks television. It's a little bit derpy, but I think it's kind of cool. I have to have widescreen because, you know, the stupid old school television you can make with Mr. Crayfish, it's cool and all, and you can watch a couple things on it, but it's not widescreen, so I mean, come on. We've got some uh, other stuff we're going to build up here. We're going to make bedrooms, whoops, bedrooms and stuff up in here. Maybe both bedrooms, maybe make one an office. I haven't decided yet. Maybe you guys should tell me in the comments, what should I do with these two little rooms? And maybe we'll put something here, like a pool table, who knows? Maybe I'll put a pool table below the stairs. Or, you know, it's just kind of in here or something. I don't know. I want to build a back porch slash patio something or other out here eventually. I just haven't gotten to that yet. All right. So I've done a little bit of work on this room since last episode. It's all complete in here. I need soundproofing so I don't hear the sheep. <laughs> but it's okay. So we've got kind of a caution door in here. And here's all of our, whoops, my uh, bushes, essence berries, etc. All in there, berry bushes, fun. Smelters in here, been doing ingots and things. I've put in not all, but a lot of the thermal expansion machines in here. So I was doing, had the furnaces and had these two guys last time. I made an induction smelter for, what was I doing? Oh yes, I had to make that, the magma crucible and the fluid transposer to make energy cell. And then these two I just did to fill it out as well with this one. Glacial precipitate is pretty cool. You can make snow and ice with it. You just got to feed it water, which you have. This one is a charger, so you can put an item in here and charge it if you have something that requires charges. And this one, you can make obsidian, stone, cobblestone, but it needs lava as well as water. So right now, it does not really work unless you... you I think you can put a bucket of stuff in there. I haven't tried it. Again, just wanted to fill out my wall here. There's a couple other machines that did not build. But I think this is cool. This little lever here is to turn the snow thing on and off because otherwise it just keeps going if it has water. Put some micro blocks around these things here. And I made some lockers. So full of stone. I'll probably move these out eventually. So I'm going to put some lockers or something in the back just to put stuff for ores or, you know, all the metals from the smelter. I can somewhere to store that and leftover stone and things. Might make this one into just crafting materials. This is Tinker's stuff. So I got a few things plus a few uh, safari nets. I wonder what happened to my launcher. I thought I had that. Maybe I kept it in my inventory. Whoop, fix this bug. There we go. Eh, soul sand, another rack that's all in here. I don't know. I had a safari launcher. Don't know what happened to it. So I've added another door back here and sort of started down here. This is the power situation. Again, here's the energy cell. Redstone energy cell I built. You have, let's see, what is that? Million or 10 million uh, energy that it stores up in there, basically. So all the machines go up there, all the wiring, and you've got them going to the cell. The cell goes to our power situations, which once the update happens, these will not work anymore, and I'm going to have to come up with something else. So for now, it still works. I've got a couple more uh, energy cells and an empty one here that I have not put somewhere yet, but built, ready to go whenever we want to do it. 
Over here is my in-progress DNA lab, or genetics lab actually is a better way to put it. We've got a window. We're going to dress it up a little bit. We've just got kind of some walls, no ceiling or floor or furnishings yet. I was wanting to make it functional first, so I've done that. I had to go do a bunch of stuff in the wikis and figure out how it works, and I will show you guys later, but... Here's my wall of these two things, the analyzer and extractor. These are the first steps, and you need to use quite a bit of them. So what I've done is milled, you know, tongue, because you get skin cells, you put them in here, then the skin cell, this spits out a thing that you put into here. So you kind of need all this processing power on it. And what I've done is I've also put a couple overclocks uh, things in there, which you craft, use, make a, like, Minecraft clock regular thing, and put redstone on four sides of it. And that gives you, I believe, four overclock cars that you can put at any of these genetics machines. Makes them go a little bit faster. From experience, just figuring this all out, these two machines are the ones that you want it the most because they are the things you're going to be using the most often and they're also the slowest. So if you're gonna do overclocking, put it in here. Then over here we have a decryptor, splitter, a breeder, centrifuge, and combiner, and then some more decryptors on this side. Spin it all up, then inject yourself with it, and then you will have the new trait. It's pretty kind of awesome. I figured it out. And I can now fly. You probably guess that's the one I did, since that's the one I have in the chest. And you can see kind of my wiring going above the ceiling here. Whoop, back down. So that's very nice, guys. I've got to do some collecting of things. So I shall go do all the boing prep work, and we shall return. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yeah, piggies can fly. Didn't know that, did you? Mwahaha. So, piggies can fly, piggies can fly. <laughs> yes, guys, the uh, genes, if you put the genetics on and you get traits, they transfer for when you are shape-shifted. Just wanted to try that out, and it works. I was out finding me a couple pigs for our machine. And while I was gone, I was smelting up some iron, which we've got. So let's lag it up. Yeah, you guys can't tell. Probably in the video, but I'm getting it chugs a lot when I'm running uh, any liquids out of this thing. Shut up, sheep. What do we want to do first? Let's do the constructor because that's what we need. So recipe for that, we need a sink core, we need obsidian, four pieces, a piece of redstone, and three glass panes. So let's make the sink core first, which is a little expensive. You need two daylight sensors, a block of lapis, a block of redstone, an ender pearl, two pieces of quartz, and two emeralds. So let's pick this stuff up. Do, 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 do. We'll just do the whole top row. Now, let's get building. So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. We need that there, that there, that there, these guys here, those there, and those up here. We're going to have to build another daylight sensor for the treadmills, I think. So. But I do need a sink core for each of these two things. So I'm going to build two storage and have the one constructor. So that's why I'm building three of those. Ta-da! And now, let's see. Whoops. Why do I always back out of that? I keep forgetting it's there. Okay, that's right. We need the redstone in the middle at the bottom. Sure, let's grab this. Can I break this down the same? Yes, I can. My fancy redstone block. All right, go to that. Glass panes in the middle, and this is on top. We just need one constructor. Now, what's the recipe for the storage? We need iron in the middle, a block of iron, and a weighted pressure plate at the bottom. So I need more iron. I'd had some before, but and then I had to use it. <laughs> so you, I will use one of those so I can make that. I need two of these and two blocks. We'll just get more for our iron golem in a minute. So we need that gone and that gone. Right? 
and that'll be storage, two of those. Apparently they do not stack. All right, good to know. And our treadmills, we need two of these, so let's make sure we need two daylight sensors. I got the iron bars and black carpet. Okay, obsidian and redstone, I should have plenty. Let's just get that set up. Right, yep, I did that correctly. Then iron bars, we'll just leave you there. All right, two treadmills. Also, don't stack. All right, we want the constructor and our treadmills. To start with, uh oh, creeper, where are you? Are you upside with the sheep? Or not creeper, spider, derp. All right, you don't seem to be up there. You're just annoying me. So. I was thinking about putting it up a layer so that all of these are like the same level, but then I have to put the treadmills too. You know what? Forget it. We'll just put it right there. Bam. And I think we have to face this way. Nope. Oh. Come on. There you go. I'm going to have to go in here and change the floor later. Once I figure that out, we can do that. That's not a big deal. I have two pigs here. Let's close the door just in case, but we should be all right. You, get on the treadmill. Go. You need exercise. No, what the? Get, oh. Get up there. There you go. Oh. Oh. You look like a fat piggy. Run. Run, piggy, run. <laughs> now there, if you right-click on it, it will hurt you a little bit, like it's taking a sample or something. But as you can see, it's starting to build. So it'll take quite a long while, which is why we got getting that started. Now what I want to do up here with these is recess these in the wall a little bit. don't know if you'll be able to see through it. You probably will because it's transparent, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Oops, I thought I had a shovel. Do, and just for fun, we're going to throw that up there for now. Just so we are sure to have plenty of light. Alright, we need the storage. Cha-ching! And the other storage, cha-ching. There we go. And we're going to fancy this up a little bit. I'm going to put like a table up here with a microscope or something on it. Make the floor and the ceiling look nice. But we have a functional lab and running pigs. <laughs> All right, while this guy's building, I'm going to start making some iron so we can mill us an iron golem and scrape him up. Soup. There we go. Hey, there you are, buddy. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Polygon Wizard Incorporated, where we scrape your DNA without you caring about it, because if you care about it, we'll kill you. I will use this one and show you what happens. Here's the DNA process, guys. You right-click on something, and they freak out about it. Sheep jump way up in the air. And you get these lovely, lovely skin cells that are not stackable and they're very annoying. In fact, let's just put a few things away. So we have a little bit more inventory room. Four skin cells. I have my knapsack as well. Come here, buddy. I have no idea how many I need for this. So we're just going to get quite a few. And we'll get some of them running. So, here we go. First step, you get the skin cells with your scraper. You can also build an auto scraper machine that you can hook up to farms, but I think that's kind of stupid. Much better to trap one of the mobs and scrape them 
if you can, because these things don't stack. So you will fill up chests and things very quickly if you're relying on that. So you put the skin cells in the analyzer. Let them all run. Chow, pa chow, pa chow. Keep running, piggies. Go, go, go. I need my clone. <laughs> Looks like we're maybe two thirds done. Hard to tell. Keep going. All right. What you get out of that is just a cell of whatever you put in there. And these machines, by the way, cost a chunk ton of iron. They also take a ton of cells, so you can't just keep building them uh, from the start. You need things from them. So this first thing will get you cells. Whoops, turn off my sky. Do, 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 do. Or at least do not disturb. I keep forgetting to do that when I bounce back and forth. It's a habit. Alright, so to build these things, if you need to build a DNA dictionary, let's see if we can look this up. Do, 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 do. Genetics. Alright, you build this thing for a lot of the machines, which on its surface is like, yeah, what's whatever, it's a book and four cells. The annoying thing is, cells don't stack as well. The only thing that stacks is these stupid organic drop byproducts that you can't use for anything but like fuel, I think, whatever. It's junk. But, what that does is you get cells, you have to make these books, and then the books will do for like a lot of these machines. So recipe, this one's syringe and book and iron. Or this one here, you have a diamond and a book and iron. All of these use iron. And then syringes even use iron, and you get one. They're very expensive. I went through so much iron, but excuse me, building this stuff. So make sure you have plenty of iron supplies before you start. But anyway, once you've analyzed some stuff and gotten some cells, you put them into an extractor to get some DNA out of it. One, two, three, four, five. And you get helixes, which are encrypted. So you don't know what to do with them yet, so that's why you have these decryptors. So you put them in here. Unfortunately, only have four, but they go pretty quick. And then you get a helix that it tells you what it is. And half the time, or I'm not sure what the percentages are, you just get a basic gene. Let's see if we get... There you go. More hearts is what we'll get from the iron golems. So that's good. We want that. What do we get over here? Basic gene. And more hearts and basic gene. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get a double. All right, let's just throw you in there. You're on the top. Now, what that happens is you go to the splitter next. And the splitter, let's do the two here. What you do is you pick which one you want. Always pick this nice one because you can never have too many genes that are of the you know actual variety type and not just the basic kind. So... Here's what you do. You have more hearts as a gene. That one's working. Ooh, we got another one. Okay. Good, good. We'll throw you in there and go. Then you need to go into the breeder. This is where we're going to start. 14. Okay, so this is half of what it took for fly, which was 28. So what you have to do with this is put more genes in here, which is where the basic ones come into play. Do, do more hearts and more hearts. So if you want to have this on server you're doing it you want to have some ones for friends you would keep these and not use them but if you're just doing it for yourself which we are right now it will give you two levels for each one you put that's the same as the one that you're cooking and as you can see it's breeding it right now so if we put those in there that will get us up to four so let's make these whoops i forgot you have to hit the button on these basic genes will only give you one so let's get a few more things started so we can actually get this all figured up today. Oh, my clone is done! Woohoo! So you guys can keep running because I don't care. It's really weird and creepy. You don't really get to see your skin very often, and when you do it in like an F5 mode, it's different than when you're looking at this. <laughs> we'll jump in there in a minute. We want to get this DNA stuff done before we interrupt. We'll close out the episode with a little bit of clone action. So let's see, put the cells up here. You guys have got this all down by now, I bet, at least in this video. Doing it yourself takes a whole lot more time, man. Whew. 
I probably spent two hours figuring all this stuff out the other night at least, and that was with the help of a wiki. <laughs> Without a wiki, this stuff would just be like, what am I doing? Alright, we've got us some more jeans here. Let's throw them in. Right, right. Basic gene. It's still going. It's okay, that's weird. All right. And basic gene. We were very unlucky that time. So let's throw some of those in there and let's do our last couple skin cells that we have on us. Maybe if we get lucky, we can finish without having to go scrape our golem again. That just sounds funny, doesn't it? Scrape the golem. And you see how inventory space is very helpful to have for this, because none of this stuff stacks. If you're going to try to store it in chests, it's going to take forever to sort unless you you know if you start from the beginning sorting it it's not too bad oh whoops there's my other basic gene whoops wrong one there we go still going so if you were working on two things at once that's why I had two breeders here because you really just use one at a time ooh good awesome Oh, yeah. I already did that. Losing track. Alright, well, you're going. We throw this in here, and we're going to have just enough. Because this will get us up to 12, and then this more hearts will be the two slots that we need. Ready? And go. Cook it up. Completed. So, as you can see, when you point at it, it says completed. So, we'll use that in a minute. First. We need our syringe, which is over here. Yep. Alright. So, stab yourself in the face with this. That's what it looks like when you use it. Foop. And you're blind for a couple seconds. And then it goes away pretty quick. What you can do is put that into the centrifuge. Boom. And you have a centrifuge syringe. Then you go up here to the combiner. Put that on the right. Put the gene on the left, if you just shift click it goes to the correct spot, so that's nice. Doesn't always happen that way with the mods. Now you have a filled syringe, don't try and inject yourself first or you'll waste it all that time. Centrifuge it. Now it's filled and centrifuged. And I'm hoping this won't get rid of my fly. We shall see. Because I think since I already had it, it combines just fine, but I haven't done it yet so we shall find out. You get nausea for a few seconds. <laughs> hey, buddy. You got off easy. That bat died when I was had him down here. So, uh, you're, you're a little more hardy. So, I'll, all right. So am I. As you can see, down here, we'll go in here so I can point. These first five hearts are yellow or orangish now. So, I have five extra hearts. Pretty sweet. Now, can I fly? I can still fly. It's because my, you know, genetics already had that trait, I guess, that when I pull the blood out and put it in, it just adds to it. Very nice to know. Now, the machines I don't have in here, there are some machines that you can clone mobs with this, which is easier to do with other machines in this mod pack, so I didn't bother making them. There's also a machine or two, I think it's two, that are required to make anti-genes, so if for some reason you have a trait that you don't like anymore, say... You did all the sheep and you got woolly on here and you didn't want to be woolly anymore because that much wool and hair everywhere is just a pain and you didn't like it. You can make anti genes and you can take away traits. So I have not done that. I don't plan on doing it so I didn't make space for it. So if I need to I can always build a machine temporarily. Alright, so I don't think this works yet because we need power. So I'm going to just use a couple of these redstone blocks. It's something I forgot about earlier, but that's okay. And bam, there you go. It's working. Now here we go. This is the moment of truth. 
you jump into one of these storage things and you can pick. I only have one other clone, so I have one thing to do on the wheel, and you go whoa into the sky, it's nighttime. And back down. Hi, oh, yeah, I saw where that spider was. Check it out on the guy that was in the middle. So you have completely separate inventories. Your body goes into this storage and you take the other guy you can go around. So this can be like my adventure clone, and this can be my sciencey clone, or you know, or whatever. So we can play around with that. And as long as you have storage space, you can jump into them. So if you're out in the world somewhere, like if I had a base out elsewhere, and I wanted one guy to base and one guy to stay around and take care of, you know, spawn house and stuff here that we've got, we could do that. It's pretty cool. So we're going to do that again and jump back up in here. Yeah! Yeah! Pretty awesome. You don't have to right click, you just step up in there. So now I've got one of myself just sitting up here. Hey, hey buddy. You can't see me, you're sleeping. This would be also cool, I think. A little expensive to, for just for that. But if you set up a bunch of these and build like a spaceship, because you can go in outer space in this mod. Yes, you can. Build a space station with a bunch of like cryopods or something where you have like a bunch of clone facilities set up. Or if you had like a public one where everybody on the server went and had one of these sitting here so it looked like everyone's in cryo sleep, it'd be kind of creepy. But I think it's also be kind of cool. So <laughs> anyway, guys, that was all we I planned for today. I'm going to, you know, pretty this place up. We'll add some decorations so it's not just a stark room. But I wanted to show you guys the functionality of it. And anyway, we'll get it looking nice. Probably show it to you guys next time as I've been doing. Do some improvements around all the place, show you, and then do a little project. So that's all for today. Let's go berate our employee a little bit. And uh, we'll be back with you guys. Hey, hey you. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. <laughs> Skin cells for days. That spider's driving me nuts. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you had fun. Hope you learned a little bit about genetics and feel smarter than now. And, you know, if you want to clone yourself, now you know how. So, we got our little mad sciencey basement labs, uh, you know, started. We're still a little bit under construction, but that's okay. We shall see you next time.